My name is Neil Gosman. I was the first executive director at what was then called Cable Access St. Paul. It's now SBNN. I was hired, uh, I think, summertime 1985. The board of directors had been in business a few months before and organized as a nonprofit. And uh, then Continental Cable Television was obligated to finance the uh, cable access operation. And I was the executive director that helped set up the organization past the bylaws. We had to get an office, we had to get equipment, we had to establish regulations, we had to hire staff. So it was the very beginnings. In the 80s, the Hmong community was just being established here in Minnesota. And um, at that time, most Hmong people did not speak English. The kids that were born here, they're great. They all know English, that's fine. But the parents at that time in the 80s, they were having trouble navigating. So young Hmong kids who had learned English started coming into cable access and saying, I want to do a show that will explain to my mother and father how to ride a bus. And I want to do it in Hmong. So here's how to use the camera. Go ahead, do it. The, the Hmong people realized the value of community access television when they didn't have a, the written resources to otherwise communicate to their folks. So that was a, I think that was great. We, we had a variety of people working for us. We worked very hard in those days um, to have our staff reflect the community that we served, which was everybody. We, we really wanted to be open to everybody. We had international visitors uh, come to look at our operation many times um, from various countries around the world. And they wanted to see what is this public access business and how is it working and what kind of people are getting airtime. And we learned that various other countries don't necessarily have the same First Amendment, freedom of speech, freedom of the press, rights that we have. Uh, but we had a lot of, I think, very, very good successes at getting the point across that this was people's television. This was community television. 